So we only got one more, guys. Um, again, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we got to make sure that we are getting these into proper fractions, right? So I'm going to work this a little bit quicker since I did it slow last time. 2 times 3, don't worry about the negative sign. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. But remember, it's negative, right? So it's a negative 7 halves. All right, just don't do 3 times 6. Three, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5. Just for, or ignore the negative sign when you, com when you convert, and then just include it at the end. So it's negative 7 halves times 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8 over um, 3. Now, it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, to remember um, we are not using cross multiplication. I know a lot of you love cross multiplication. Um, but please remember, cross multiplication only works when we have a ratio equal to another ratio. You're not actually applying that through multiplication. So in this case, when you're multiplying, all you simply do is multiply across. All right? The negative sign doesn't really matter where it's at. And the way I explain my case, it doesn't really matter, guys, where you put that negative sign. Negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is all negative 2. So it doesn't really matter. All right? Don't get concerned with that. So in this case, um, <clears throat> ooh, I should have done that one. All right, so in this case, all I'm simply doing is just going to multiply. And I know I'm multiplying a negative times a positive. So 7 times 8 is going to be 56. Over 2 times 3 is 6. All right. Um, a lot of times, it might be hard saying, all right, what is the common you know, denominator and so forth? Well, I know these are two even numbers, right? Yeah? So is it possible two even numbers that I can always um, divide by 2, at least? You know, if you can't like, initially say, oh, I know the common denominator is you know, 3 or whatever. So let's just divide by 2 on both sides. So 56 divided by 2 is going to equal 28 over 3. Now, does 3 divide into 28 evenly? No. no, it goes into 27, right? So therefore, that would be your simplified fraction. All right. So whenever simplifying, if you don't know an initial number that divides into the top and bottom, my recommendation is to look to see if it's even. If it is even, divide by 2, right? Because that's the definition of even numbers, that they're divisible by 2. 